projects. In this video, we are going to learn about lightweight privacy preserving communication protocol for heterogeneous IoT environment. Introduction IoT devices deployed across several domains collect and transmit data to centralized servers for analysis and action. However, the communication channels are susceptible to hacking and unauthorized data manipulation. Traditional encryption approaches, while secure, are computationally intensive and resource demanding for IoT devices that run on batteries. As a result, this project provides an innovative approach that addresses these issues. A control center simplifies identification and key distribution by eliminating the need for complex encryption or key exchange. The protocol includes phases of initialization session key establishment and communication which are augmented by symmetric encryption and MAC codes. The protocol ensures data security and privacy across various IoT contexts by employing these lightweight approaches while minimizing computational complexity and resource waste. The approach efficiency is validated by project simulation based implementation. Objective. The project's aim is to develop a lightweight encryption solution for resource constraint sensor networks and network applications. As an alternative to typical AES S-Box encryption, it presents a strong lightweight chaotic S-Box encryption method. Through the use of random S-Box replacement values, this approach improves security while minimizing computational overhead. The goal includes the efficient encryption, better security, chaotic function integration, efficient, efficiency verification by computation time analysis and graphical comparison. By accomplishing these objectives, the project provides a secure and effective encryption technique for data privacy in various of network scenarios. These are the requirements for execution of the project. In hardware requirements, operating system of Windows, processor of 5, 5 and above, RAM of 4 GB and above, hard disk of 20 GB and above. In software requirements, Python IDEL of 3.7 version. These are the design modules for execution. First one is initialization. This module involves establishing the control center and IoT devices. It creates encrypted identities for secure device authentication. It sets up the control center database for authentication. Second one is session key establishment. This module authenticates devices via control center. It establishes session keys for encrypted communication in the device use, session keys for secure data exchange. Third one is communication. This module authenticates devices securely to communicate using session keys. Data is encrypted using symmetric encryption methods. Control center ensures sender and receiver authenticity before data forwarding. Fourth one is S-Box initialization. This module initialization initializes the modified S-Box with a specific equation and iterations. It populates the S-Box with values and update them iteratively. Fifth one is Hilbert permutation. It applies Hilbert permutation to the initial S-Box values. It enhances S-Box security through permutation. Sixth module is message encryption with S-Box. This module involves in encrypting the message using strong lightweight chaotic S-Box. It replaces the message bits with S-Box values for secure encryption. Seventh one is computation time calculation. This module involves in measuring computation times for specific operation. It calculates and detects time and compares efficiency across techniques. Eighth module is graphical comparison. It generates graphical representation of detection time. In this, we compare the performance of strong lightweight chaotic S-Box with other methods. For execution of the project, we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder of the project and this is the dataset file. And on this dataset, we will be building the models. And this is the model file. In this, we have .h5 files stored in it, which contains the algorithm information. These .h5 files can be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the train models. And this is the Python main code file and this is the run.bat file. Instead of executing the project in command line interface, we have created Windows batch file for execution. So we need to double click on it for execution. This is the graphical user interface of the project. With this, we can interact with the program and this is created by using Tikinter library in Python. Now we need to click on the button generate and load CNN IoT attack detection to generate the model. So here is the confusion matrix of CNN algorithm and here are the precession, recall, F measure and accuracy scores of CNN attack detection. So we need to close this graph. Now we need to select source and destination which are device A and device B to generate IoT network. So here I will select 7 as device A and 17 as device B. Here I will be writing the messages hi. Now I will click on the button generate IoT network. Here 
IoT network is generated. All the red color circles are normal IoT and the blue color is control center. And in text area, we can see secret identity of key generated for each IoT. Now we need to click on initialization button to perform authentication between device A and device B. So here, control center IoT 7 is getting authenticated from control center by sending to it and after successful authentication then we can see device A data set base ID in generated ID both matched. Here we can see CNN attack detection time and extension chaotic SBOX encryption detection time. Now we need to click on the button establish session key button to establish session communication between device A control center and device B. So here we can see that control center is authenticating device B and also once after authentication then session key will be established. Now we need to click on communication button to send data between device A, control center and device B. So here IoT 7 is sending to nearest neighbor IoT 6 and then this information is being sent to control center. From control center the information is being sent to IoT 3 from there it is being sent to IoT 7. So here we can see that in text area, we can see device A sent encrypted data and then device B receive encrypted and perform decryption to get original data. Similarly, we can select any other source or destination device and then control center performs the authentication and transfer data between them. So we will check with other devices also. So here, now I will click on the button initialization. Here. Uh, IoT 6 is sending information to IoT 10 and then it is sending to control center. Now IoT 6 is uh, authenticated. Now we will click on the button establish session key to get device B authenticated. So here device B is also authenticated that is IoT center uh, control center is authenticating device B. Now we need to click on the button communication to send the information from device A to device B. So here IoT, uh, IoT 6 is sending to IoT 14 and then this information is being sent to control center. From control center directly it is being sent to IoT 15. Now we will click on the button propose versus extension detection time. Here we can see on X axis we have types of algorithms which are proposed detection time, CNN extension detection time and chaotic SBOX time. And on Y axis we have the execution time of each particular algorithm. Among all the algorithms, chaotic SBOX is nullified which means it is not at all taking time, it is taking very few minutes to execute uh, the authentication. So we'll close this graphical user interface. Conclusion: A lightweight privacy preserving communication protocol that uses control center to authenticate and secure data transfer across heterogeneous IoT devices. This protocol does not require strong encryption or key exchange, ensuring data security and privacy in resource-constrained IoT context. A modified AES SBOX encryption scheme designed for sensor networks with limited battery power. The solution improves security using random substitution values while remaining efficient by employing a strong lightweight chaotic SBOX. SBOX initialization, Hilbert permutation and message encryption techniques are all part of the process. This project provides a useful insights on IoT network security and lightweight encryption addressing the unique problems given by IoT landscape. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.